Hello, hello, hello. Uh, checking in with the Rhythm of War. Uh, 12 to four, chapters 12 to 14. Um, this is going to be, I don't know, <laughs> this is going to be a tough thing to try and keep track of in a, in a vague sense. Uh, Kaladin uh, gets gets um, decommissioned as a uh, as as a part of the army, basically. Uh, Dalinar says, "Yeah, no, you're you're done, dude." I think we, I may have even discussed that later. Uh, he his uh, Odlin, Odlin, uh, kind of uh, a a bright a born to it bright eyes guy uh, comes and kind of bullies him out, and you know he he is the only one who's going to actually who who wouldn't back down from uh, Kaladin's um, kind of gruff, 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 gruffness, uh, gets dragged to a bar where uh, Sh- Shailen, Shaolin is there uh, in her maybe veil form. She has various forms, veil, radiance. Veil is much more kind of earthy, kind of sneaky, uh, morally flexible, uh, where her radiance is much more kind of uh, the hero kind of, kind of kind of forthright also willing to kind of learn and stuff um and they're they're trying to set him up with the, with a gal but that's probably probably i don't know if that's going to happen or not he uh says goodbye to rock who is going back to his people on the plains because he's uh which you know he's sort of done stuff which has kind of crossed the line of 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 being of being with the army there like he's not supposed to be fighting but and you know sort of he's crossed the line so he's going to have to go back for judgment um we have a whole thing with um Shailen, Shaolin whatever her name is and uh the kind of the mysterious uh secret secretive organization the ghost ghost brotherhood or whatever the fuck they are i really don't care about all these names uh and uh you know wanting information wanting information about herself um she's basically it looks like she probably killed i can't remember now i think she killed her 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 uh father maybe her mother too uh when when you know uh when she was young super abusive super abusive um and uh so there's all that um they're worried about her because there's maybe more personalities that are coming are are, are lurking around there coming to the surface one who seems to be quite darker so we could have a heel turn here or something like that uh there's a Moash, uh, who is a guy who was a former bridgeman who betrayed them and is now working for uh, the um, the dancers, the Parshendi, who are the that have have regained consciousness. Uh, and uh, he's like, you know, he's offering me death and, and eases my pain. So I, 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 I'm working with them. It's kind of an ultra ultimate kind of negation thing. Um, which it's like, okay, whatever. Um, we have the, uh, the Parshendi, these, um, oh, I'm going to have to remember their name. God, I have to look up all the stuff and try and remember. It's like, it goes in one ear and out the other. Um, I don't know if I find them particularly that compelling as the opposers of stuff. It's like, who, like you know, the 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 antagonists, just because they are so shadowy and, and alien. We have the the hidden. We have the returned kind of the higher the higher ups, the kind of the heavenly ones or whatever the hell they are, um, who who just get continually reborn. And then you have the actual Parshende, who are sort of basically subjugated by them. And uh, we have. Uh, one of the Parshendi who's actually become a shard is, is secretly has a um, has a sprite of his of her, of her I guess her own that um, you know and she's like I want to become maybe, maybe I could become a wind wind walk wind walker whatever the hell it is it's okay it's okay I'm I you can tell that I'm not super engaged I mean 
Sanderson's really good at putting together everything on a on a on a kind of scene by scene basis, but I think I've really lost really lost the uh, the thread here. So I'm gonna just sort of see how it goes. I may we'll have to see. I might try and do a little bit of homework tomorrow and try and nail things down a little bit more. But I'm feeling quite lost. So that might be it may be asking a little bit too much of me for something that i want for light entertainment that uh i'm not willing to put in the work on uh on this on this thing go back and and re-listen to the um to the uh you know what you need to know to read rhythm of war but it's like it's i'm sort of lost i, I can see this series somewhat dropping off in readership if i'm at all representative i might not be but i have to think there's a lot of people who are just not as into this but then again maybe i'm not a teenager who's just you know rereading these obsessively because that would be definitely a certain people i i really i'm starting to feel like i would have had to have re-listened to the first three and then immediately gone on to this one to be able to do that in, in which case it might be one of those things of like okay i guess i'll wait until it's all done and then if i feel like doing that i'll do that but a what reading them one by one it's sort of like george r, r. martin it's like ah, i don't want to have to reread and reread and reread these things uh so the thing about george r. r martin is they actually had the game of thrones the show so that you could just watch the entire series and it's much easier to have it in your head than these giant books where it, you know, it just doesn't doesn't stick the sort of the same way, and there's there wasn't all the obsessive discussion around it. So we shall see how we do. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later.